Hi. Today I want to learn how we can solve this particular said equation. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's start. You have been given this question. Now the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure one of the said, if you have multiple said in the question, you make sure one of the said stands on one side of the equal to sign. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to shift the set that we are having here to the other side. All right. You can decide to maintain that. So we are going to have our 5m minus 9. And this will be equal to, we have our positive 2 square root of the 2m plus 3. Now that we are having the set to be standing on the other side of the equal to sign, what we are going to do is we are going to square both sides. Okay, all because we want to get rid of the root sign. So we have to square both sides. So we take this side, we square that, we take the whole of this side, and then we square that. Okay. Now for this side, if you expand it, we have different ways of expanding that. You can either you know write it as 5m minus 9. You have your the same 5m minus 9. You can write it like that to expand that, or we have other ways. Okay, and this will be equal to the 2 is going to affect this 2, so you are going to have 4. The same 2 is going to cancel this particular um, root sign here, and that is going to give us your 2m plus 3. Okay, so for this side, when we expand that, we are going to get our 25m squared. The same 5m multiplies the minus 9, and that is going to give us minus um, 45. So minus 45m, the minus 9 multiplies the 5m. And that is going to give us the same minus 45 m and then minus 9 multiply the minus 9 that is going to give us positive 81. Okay, now we could have used different method to expand it, but I want to take time to expand it. That is why. All right, so this will be equal to the 4 multiplying the 2 m that is going to give us 8 m plus 12. Okay, so now we don't have any root sign in the equation that we are having here. So what we are going to do next is because the highest exponent of the m there is 2 it means that we are having a quadratic equation here so what we are going to do is we are going to rearrange it in the order of the general quadratic equation so we are going to have our 25 m squared now for the m term if you want to group like terms don't forget that we have um, minus 45 here we have minus 45 here, and we have 8 m and this 8 m is going to transpose to the other side so when we combine all that, that is going to give us, what, 98. Okay, so we are going to have minus 98m. All right, and we have our positive, what, 81. Okay, and then we have our 12 here. That 12 is going to transpose the other side. So it's going to be 81 minus 12. And that is going to give us our positive 69. And this will be equal to 0. Now we are having this particular quadratic equation. So what we are going to do is we are going to solve this particular quadratic equation. It's a choice. You can decide to, again, use the quadratic formula or the factorization method. Any method that you think you are okay with, because this is quadratic equation, you have not been restricted. All right. Okay. So I want to use the factorization method. All right. So I'm going to use the positive 25 here, which is this coefficient of the m squared to multiply the constant m, which is 69. And when I do that multiplication, I'm going to get 1725. Okay. This 1725, I want two numbers in which when I multiply, I get the 1725. But when I add them, I'm going to get a coefficient of the M10. That is the minus what? 98. Okay. All right. The two numbers that is going to work, or that are going to work here, are 75 and then 23. Okay, sorry, 23. All right, they are positive, meaning I have to negate them. So negative 75, negative 23. When you multiply these two numbers, you are going to get positive 1725. But when you add them, indeed, you are going to get minus 98. So in place of the minus 98, and we are going to substitute these two numbers. All right, so we are going to have our 25 m squared minus 75 m minus 23 m plus 69 that's equal to zero we take the first two terms we factorize what is the common factor there 25 m so we are going to have our 25 m we open the bracket we are going to be left with m okay minus 3 
we take the last two the same thing what is the common factor there the common factor is minus 23 okay we open the bracket and we are going to be left with m minus 3 being equal to 0 so the linear factors we are going to have our m minus 3 in one bracket the other bracket we are going to be left with our 25 m minus 23 all being equal to 0 okay in this case we are going to take each linear factor and we equate it to 0 all right so we are going to have but we're having m minus 3 in one bracket the other bracket we are having um 25 m minus 23 being equal to 0 okay so we take m minus 3 being equal to 0 and we had our m to be equal to 3 we take the other linear factor the 25 m minus 23 being equal to 0 we are going to get our 25 m being equal to 23 we are going to have our m to be equal to 23 over 25 that is when you divide through by the 25 okay so now we are having our values for m to be equal to 3 and 23 over 5 but don't forget under said equation after getting the two values you have to do some testing you have to test whether indeed the values are going to satisfy the original equation okay now the original equation was 5 m minus 2 square root of 2m plus 3 and that's equal to 9 this was the original equation so you want to test whether these values are going to satisfy that okay now when m is equal to 3 realize that we are going to have our 5 times 3 minus 2 square root we have our 2 times 3 plus 9 being equal to 9 okay this is going to give us 15 minus we have our 2 under the sign, we are going to have sorry this side is 3 okay so we are going to have 2 times 3 that is 6 plus 3 that is 9 okay this is equal to 9 so we have our 15 minus 2 times square root of 9 is going to give us positive 3 okay so in that case we are going to get our 15 minus 6 so 15 minus 6 being equal to 9 and we are going to get indeed 9 is equal to 9. So it means that when m is equal to 3, indeed the equation is true. That is, m satisfies this equation. What about when m is equal to 23 over 25? Let's try to test that one too. So we are going to have our 5m minus 2 square root 2m plus 3 being equal to 9. Okay. So now when m is equal to 23 over 25 we want to check so we are going to have our 5 indeed multiplying 23 over 25 minus 2 square root of we have our 2 multiplying 23 over 25 plus 3 all is equal to 9 okay now from what we are having here when you try simplifying the you are not going to get the same value as in whatever that you are having here everything indeed will not be equal to what you are having you can use your calculator to verify that but what we are having here our 5 times 23 over 25 is going to give us okay so let's do the testing 5 multiplies the 23 and that is going to give us 115 over 25 minus we have our 2 2 multiply the, this 23 and that is going to give us 46 or so 46 over 25 plus 3. Okay, that is equal to 9. So we are going to have 115 over 25 minus 2 multiplying the square root of... Okay, so we are going to get our 1, 2, 1 over 25. Okay, being equal to 9. From what we are having here, we still have our 115 over 25. Minus 2 multiplying square root of this, this is going to give us 11 over 5. Okay, being equal to 9. And from what we are having here, we are still going to have a 115 over 25 minus 22 over 5, being equal to 9. In fact, we want to check whether whatever that we are having here, everything here is indeed will be equal to 9. And when we try simplifying 
this what I have circle with a blue ink. Indeed, we are going to get um, one over five. So one over five is not equal to, now you can type this, you know, find your LCM and then verify this. This can't be equal to the nine. All right, in that case, your final answer, which is your M, will be equal to the three because it was the M being equal to three that was satisfying the equation. All right, so therefore, you are going to have your M to be equal to positive three as your final answer. You can write it in a true set form. That is M is like that. That is M is like that. M is equal to three. And this becomes your final answer. Okay, so this is where we will end this particular question. Thanks for your time and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.